Hi guys, my name is Behruz. Welcome back to the Rust blockchain tutorial series. In today's video, we'll be working on our CLI or command line tools to work a little bit with the, uh, our transaction. Then we are going to uh, creating a wallet for our blockchain. In this module, we'll be uh, separate from the blockchain itself. And uh, in the next tutorial, we'll be working to integrate the blockchain and wallet together. So let's go to our CLI file and do some changes. I'm really excited to test the our transaction. So we need to a lot of changes for first we need to remove the blockchain and also uh, here because we don't need it because we created two different function for create a blockchain and load the blockchain. So uh, we need to remove add block because we don't need them anymore. And uh, also here we don't need and print chain. Also we don't need this function. So remove all of this and replace the whole file with this. Let's scroll to top. We need a print chain, get balance to get how much amount that user address has. And also we needed to use a create command to create an entire blockchain. And we need to get address for that spe specific account. And also we use a send command to send from address to another address with the amount. Uh, okay, after you create uh, these commands, then we need to check one by one. First, if we want to create, well, create a blockchain, we use a create command with the address, for example, we create uh, call go run, create, and for example, John Doe for address. The blockchain is going to create. Then we can get balance of John Doe we, and is going to print how much money that user has. And also we create a send to send amount of money from address to another. We check them, we get them from the command line, sorry. And also to amount and we use a new transaction, new UTXO to pass the amount from address to another. Let's start to test. First, let's remove the data we already have here and go to trans. Uh, to command line. Okay. Let's create our blockchain for us. For this example, we use a create with the address user one. We create our blockchain. Then let's print it. Print the entire chain. As you can see, it's going to print our chain. Let's get balance of user one. As you can see, user one has 100 token. Let's send, send token to another address. Uh, send from user one to user two, for example, 10 token, then Sure, let's get balance of user one. As you can see, it's become 19. So that's it. I hope you enjoy and our uh, transaction is complete. And the next video, we are going to create a wallet in a instead of use a uh, constant address. So I hope you enjoy. Take care. Before we move on to create our wallet, I want to do some refactoring in our code. I want to move uh, all structure of the TX output and TX input and also all method to the separate file. So let's do it. 
and we need to copy all of them to the new file then we need to import the two struct in our transaction okay we good to go the main purpose for doing this for the next tutorial because we will be expanding uh, all the logic for these two struct uh, quite a bit and uh, it need to be a separate file let's create a wallet.rs for our wallet let's first take a look at the structure of a wallet in a blockchain so the wallet is made up of two keys a secret keys and a public key the secret key itself is essentially the identifier for each of the accounts inside of the blockchain and so each secret key that we generally need to be completely random and unique from the other secret keys otherwise multiple users can access the same account okay to fill up these two fields we need an algorithm to uh, create secret and pub key the algorithm we are going to use is ECDSA stands for elliptical curve digital signing algorithm and that algorithm we are going to use to generate the secret and pub key so first we need to create a new method from wallet for wallet and then we use a rand library to generate uh, some uh, bunch of the random byte and pass to the keeper function from the library then this keeper return a tuple for secret key and pop key then we need to generate the address for our wallet so we use some hashing algorithm to generate uh, address or also we use a, uh, a scripting language from the Bitcoin library we already have and uh, so let's do it we create the get address function we we need to clone a public key and use a hash pop key to generate uh, a hash from the pop hash then return it and we use a address from the bitcoin library bitcoin cash address to generate our address the algorithm we use to uh, create uh, address is base 58 uh, because this algorithm provide uh, and remove some uh, character uh, from the hash they you they remove the zero and o one and i because is similar is going to make a mistake for other users when they want to write them down so we pass the pop hash to pop hash pop key and hash pop key is uh, a function is going to be outside of the our wallet in the future we are going to use the utils file and pass to the uh, that file so we create a sha 256 pass a publicly to input and uh, as a result we pass them to pop key another, another time then we use our rip 160 algorithm to regenerate a hash again after that we need to resize the pop key because the ripped 160 is going to be size of 20 right now is 32 so we filled with the zero then as a result we pass the pop key to generate our ripped 160 then we use the uh, bitcoin cash addresses to use the scripting language from the bitcoin to generate our uh, address then we use the encode method and unwrap it to get our address so far so good so we need another struct to put all the wallets we are going to create in the future and save them to the database and load them each time we want to access the specific wallet with the address so 
we create a struct and the fields is going to be a map map of the wallet we use the address to as a key and wallet as a value then we create a new method to uh, create a new wallet so let's do it in the new method is going to be create a new wallet with the empty hash map then we are going to load our wallet from the SLED database then we are going to walk through entire the wallet if the wallet any wallet exists we are going to use the address and also a bind code deserialize to create to uh, into the wallet then we are going to insert our map we need to import also a result here from the caret error result then we need to create another method for create a wallet when we are going to create a wallet you need to pass to the uh, wallets tool so we create a new we get the address, we clone the address for key and pass the wallet here and return the address. Then we need to create another method for access to all addresses. It's really easy. We use a get all address to access the wallet as a reference and push all addresses to the WIC then we need to uh, get a specific wallet with the address so we create another uh, <clears throat> method we use the address and return our wallet as an option so the wallet is a map we pass the address to get a wallet it's easy then we need to create another method to save all wallets we create so we create this uh, save all method load a wallet from the cell then uh, we are using the reference of wallet and this is the wallet we use the address and data to save to enter our database then flush and return okay so let's write some logic to create a new wallet and also uh, print uh, all addresses. We created two different subcommands for create wallet and list address. Then we are going to check if the command is create wallet. So we write some code to create a wallet and save all addresses and then uh, print a new address then if the command uh, was list address we are going to load all addresses exist in our wallets and we, we are going to use a for loop to print all addresses let's write let's check the terminal before we're going to uh, check the terminal uh, we need to fix this because i miss a spell that and create wallet then we are going to uh, check the command line use a cargo run create wallet as you can see uh, the our wallet is create with this address if we want to check all addresses in our wallets so let's replace with the list addresses as you can see i could three different addresses in the next video we are going to use the wallet in our blockchain to 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 send uh, some token to to uh, to another address in the next video we are going to use our wallet to send some token from an user to another user I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in next video.